Hey, this is René. Uh, welcome back on this channel. And this is another video on this pending order trail machine that I um, explained in the, or that I wrote um, together with you in the last video. And this program can be attached to any chart and it will um, move your um, orders in a fixed distance or it will trail your orders in a fixed distance um, yeah, behind the, the current price. So for example, I placed, a, I, I placed the sell limit order and it will be moved down with the current price. So uh, there were several comments like um, saying that this doesn't really work if there is a, um, uh, a SL and a DP. So for example, let me show this to you. I, I think I know what you, what you meant with this because if I add ATP and SL, and if I now use this program to um, modify the um, uh, the, uh, the the order, the TP and SL will be deleted, and this is a problem that we will have to take care of. I think. Um, or like a double. I, I don't really know why they are deleted. They should just not move. Maybe I can try this again. Wait, let me remove this. Let me add the TP and SL. So stop loss somewhere. Take profit somewhere. And run the pending order trail machine. Yeah, okay, so now you saw the order was uh, modified, I think. So the pending order was modified, but the TP and SL did not move. I can show it to you again. In this case, it doesn't even work because it is not possible to move the entry below the take profit. But if I move uh, the TP here, you see that only the entry is um, like modified and TP and SL stay the same. So what we would have to do is we would have to adjust the TP and SL price whenever um, the, the main price for the order changes. And we can do this in the source code. So this is the source code from the last program. If you do not have the source code, it doesn't make sense watching this video. Then you should go back to um, the previous video and watch this first. So what we did here is we... Um, uh, did not modify this order SL and order TP, but only the normal price. So we will have to move the order SL and TP by the same amount. So if we, um, so we can write something like uh, TP SL difference, difference like this, correct, I think. And then we will have to take the difference between the price, the, the new order price that we calculated here, and the old order price, which is this one. So we can say price minus order price, and this should be um, the, the, the difference. And now we can, the previous bar price was above the order price, or the, I think we will have to add order, TP, we have to add this difference and then it is always a good idea to round the price. TP, normalized double, price digits like this and then we have um, order SL plus TP SL difference and order SL normalized double price digits. Like this. So we can now test this for the buy limit type. So let me place the buy limit order. Buy limit is always um, below the, the price. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> of course, it does not make sense if there is no SL or TP before. So we will have to make it like this if order TP is greater than zero, then we will modify it. If not, 
it will stay the same. Like this. Bloop. And now we can try this again. So let me remove this. Let me place the by limit somewhere here. So let's check this first. If there is no SLNTP, still doesn't work. Okay, that's weird. Maybe it was not compiled yet. Order TP is greater than zero. I mean, this should work. Yeah, now it is modified and there is no SLNTP. And if we add a SLNTP, so stop loss below the current price, take profit above the current price, modify this. So let's see if this level, oh, okay, there's a problem somehow. The levels are always placed at the same level as the order, which does not make sense. Okay, this is because I will have to round the order TP and order SL, of course, and not the like the normal price. But now, if we move the SL and TP again, so it makes more sense. Um, wait, SL somewhere down here. Take profit somewhere here so let's change if uh, let's see if these levels will be yeah dragged and dropped yeah okay so now you can see everything is moving so also the tp and sl level and now we will have to do the same thing for the other um, order types right so just copy this block copy it then move to the next which is the buy stop and in this case um I think the buy stop will be moved downwards. So the order price is higher than the price. I think we can, no, it can stay the same, I think. Because then this will be negative and will be subtracted. Okay, so this should work. Now for the sell limit. So just go here, paste this block, then let me check this. The sell limit is above the current price. So if um, the price moves down, this also works. I think we will never have to change something and it should work for every position uh, order type, I think, I hope. So let me try this. So buy limit worked, so we can remove this. So let's try the sell limit. Sell limit, let me add some um, stop loss and take profit here. So stop loss, take profit. And let's see if they will be modified as well. So let me test this. Yeah seems to work and everything will be moved with the with the order i think yeah this seems to work so let me test something else we have the buy stop that we can test so we place the buy stop here we will have to add the TP and SL, so SL and take profit, modify this, and we can test this, this also seems to work, no there's only one thing left, which is the sell stop order, but I am pretty confident that this should also work. So stop loss and take profit, modify it just a little bit. So 
this also works. Okay, so now the pending order tray machine should be complete. Yeah, so we really just added this block where we calculated the difference between the, um, the new price that we calculated for this order and the old price. And then we added this difference uh, difference to the um, to the old order TP and the old order SL, and then we rounded the values so there are no issues, and the rest can stay exactly the same. So that's it. This is the small addition to the pending order trail machine, and if you add this block, it should also trail your TPs and SL level. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.